Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create your own retro grunge rock poster. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Call up your type tool and open your character panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. I'm choosing a font called Screaming Guitar, which you can download for free at defont.com. All of the fonts I'll be using in this tutorial can be downloaded from that site. Temporarily type in 50 points for the size and press your caps lock down. Go to the top left corner and type out the letters A through X. Each letter is a different guitar. I'll use this one, which is the letter D. Now I can trash the layer since I know the guitar I like. I'll type uppercase D, highlight it, and increase the point size to 380. I'll call up my Move tool and move it down. I'll close the Character panel and press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up the Transform tool. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. To move the image, click inside the transform and move it. To rotate it, go to a corner and when you see the double curved arrow, rotate it counterclockwise. Continue to move it to a position you like and when you're happy, press enter or return. Now you can fit the image on your screen. Let's change the color of the guitar. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose solid color. I'm choosing 6F0D14. Right now the adjustment layer is affecting all the layers beneath it in the layers panel. However, I want it to affect just the guitar. To do this, hover your cursor between the two layers and press and hold Alt or Option. When you see the clipping mask icon appear, click down. This immediately slides the adjustment layer to the right, which lets us know it's clipping just the one layer beneath it. I'll use this image as the surface texture for our poster. For your convenience, I provided a link to it in the video's description so you can download it directly. To place it into our poster document, click anywhere on it, press and hold shift and drag it up onto the tab of your poster document. With your mouse or pen still held down, drag it down onto the document and release. The reason it's inside the guitar is because it's presently being clipped to it. To unclip it, repeat the steps as before. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up your transform tool and Ctrl or Command plus zero to see the entire transform on your screen. Rotate it and reposition it to your liking. Then press Enter or Return. Fit it back on your screen and change the blend mode to multiply. If you'd like to change the color of the guitar, just double click on the adjustment layer and choose another color. I'll cancel it since I'd like to keep the original. We'll merge these three layers together. Shift click on your bottom layer and press Ctrl or Command E. Call up your type tool and open your character panel. For the band name, I'll choose Retro Rock Poster. I'll change the point size to 141. Type out your first word and call up your Move tool to move it. Call up your Transform tool to rotate and reposition it. Then press Enter or Return. Press T to call up your Type tool and click on your document a distance away from your first word. For the second word, I'll reduce the point size to 74. I'll type out my word and call up my Move tool to move it and then my Transform tool to rotate and reposition it. For the third word, I'll call up my Type tool again, click on my document, and increase the point size to 177. Repeat the same steps as you did for the other words. Let's place all the layers of the band name into a folder. Shift click on the bottom word and press Ctrl or Command G. We'll name it Band Name. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose Solid Color. I'm using a dark blue 0B1496. The adjustment layer is affecting all the layers beneath it in the layers panel, so we need to clip it. We're ready to add text for the venue. Make the top layer active and choose a font. I'm using Chopin script. I'll change the point size to 21 and make the letting 20 points. 
Letting is the amount of space between lines of text. Since this font is very delicate, I'll click on the Foul Bold icon. In the Paragraphs panel, I'll choose Right Align Text, which makes the text flush right. If you don't see the Paragraphs panel, go to Window and choose Paragraph. Call up your Type tool and type out your text. If you want to enlarge the first line, highlight it and increase its point size. Let's type out a date. Press T and click on your document. I'm choosing Bebas New. If you want to use the color of the background, click on the color box, click on the background, and then click OK. Type out your text. To slide the second line down, highlight it and slide the letting to the right. To move the second line to the left, click to the left of the line and press Alt or Option plus the left arrow key. Then press Enter or Return. To rotate it, call up your Transform tool. For this example, I'd like to see the texture inside the text, but I don't want to decrease its opacity. Control click on the T of the layer, which will make a selection of the text. Now, since we have its selection, we can trash the text. Click on the texture to make it active, and press Control or Command J to cut the selection of the text from the texture and copy it to its own layer. Then change the blend mode to normal. Let's name the layer Date. The last step is to make the area of the background that's behind the venue lighter so the text will be easier to see. Let's collapse the folder and click on the texture to make it active. Call up your brush tool and click on the arrow next to the point size. Click on the gear icon to open up your list of brush presets. I'm choosing a set I called Grunge Brushes. You can download these from BrushEasy.com. They have many grunge brush sets to choose from, so just pick the ones you like and install them. If you don't know how to do this, watch my tutorial on installing brushes and other presets. I provided a link to it in the video's description. When you see this window, click OK so we'll just see this set of brushes in the thumbnails window. I'll click on this brush. Notice all the brushes are quite large. You can decrease its size by either typing in a smaller number or dragging the slider to the left. Another way is to press the left bracket key a number of times. Click on the foreground color, click on the lightest color of the background, and click OK. Now I'll press my left bracket key a few times until the brush is the size I want. I'll drag my brush across the area a few times to lighten it. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.